Welcome to Nursing Prep Push Yourself in Nursing Preparation with Smart Way. The topic is Health Promotion and Maintenance. When a client with mid-stage Alzheimer's disease becomes agitated, which intervention should the nurse use? Option A. Turning on the television. Option B. Putting an arm around the client's waist. Option C. Placing the client in a darkened room. Option D. Leading the client to a group activity. Right answer is. Option B. Putting an arm around the client's waist. When a client with Alzheimer's disease becomes agitated, frustrated, or hostile, the nurse should respond in a calm and supportive way. Decreasing external stimuli is helpful. Touch can provide immediate security and reassurance. The healthcare provider is teaching a youth group about how to avoid acquiring a sexually transmitted disease, STD, if they are sexually active. Which of the following is the best method of prevention? Option A. Human papillomavirus, HPV, vaccination. Option B. Douching after intercourse. Option C. Consistent condom use. Option D. Use of spermicidal creams. Right answer is. Option C. Consistent condom use. Although not 100% effective, routine condom use is the best way to prevent acquiring a sexually transmitted disease, STD. The HPV vaccination is effective in preventing some strains of the human papillomavirus. Douching disrupts the natural pH and balance of bacteria, and does not prevent STDs. Spermicidal creams may help protect against pregnancy, but not STDs. A 41-year-old male visits a urologist to learn about getting a vasectomy as a permanent method of contraception. Which statement should the nurse use during client education? Option A. If you change your mind in the future, it's simple to reverse the procedure. Option B. You will need to return for an annual follow-up visit and sperm count. Option C. You'll need to use another type of birth control until your sperm count is zero. Option D. If you have a history of cardiac disease, we won't be able to do the vasectomy. Right answer is. Option C. You'll need to use another type of birth control until your sperm count is zero. A second method of birth control is necessary until the sperm count is zero. There is no need for follow-up after that. Reversing a vasectomy is difficult, requiring microsurgery. Results may be unsuccessful. There is no correlation between having a vasectomy and cardiac disease. A primary gravid client who is at 14 weeks gestation has been diagnosed with hyperemesis gravidarum. The nurse explains to the client that the condition is related to high levels of Option A. Testosterone Option B. Progesterone Option C. Aldosterone Option D. Estrogen Right answer is. Option D. Estrogen The cause of hyperemesis is thought to be related to high levels of estrogen and human chorionic gonadotropin, HCG. There is also a correlation with hepatitis, peptic ulcer, and hydatidiform mole. Progesterone is a relaxant that does not promote vomiting. Aldosterone and testosterone are male hormones. A patient with preeclampsia is admitted to the unit with an order for magnesium sulfate. The nurse will understand that the therapy is effective if Option A. Ankle clonus is increased. Option B. Blood pressure drops. Option C. Scotomers are present. Option D. No seizures occur. Right answer is. Option D. No seizures occur. Magnesium sulfate is an anticonvulsant. Blood pressure may drop during administration, but is not the goal. Ankle clonus is a series of abnormal movements of the foot, set off by reflex testing. Scotomas are areas of blurred vision or blindness. They often precede a seizure. A patient diagnosed with trichomoniasis is being treated with metronidazole, flagyl, 
when teaching the patient about this medication, which of the following will the healthcare provider include? Option A. Call our office if you experience any tendon pain or tenderness. Option B. Report the occurrence of pain in your upper abdomen immediately. Option C. Do not drink alcohol while you are taking this medication. Option D. You should avoid milk or dairy products during therapy. Right answer is. Option C. Do not drink alcohol while you are taking this medication. Rituniasis is common sexually transmitted disease, STD, caused by a protozoan parasite. Treatment is with oral metronidazole, flagell. Drinking alcohol while taking metronidazole can cause a reaction similar to disulfiram, antibus, which is characterized by nausea, vomiting, abdominal cramps, headaches, and flushing. Management of gestational diabetes mellitus, GDM, is usually done with Option A. NPH insulin injections Option B. Nutritional therapy Option C. PO hypoglycemic drugs. Option D. All of the above. Right answer is. Option B. Nutritional therapy. Clients with gestational diabetes mellitus, GDM, are usually able to be managed by diet to control their glucose intolerance. Oral hypoglycemic medications are contraindicated in pregnancy. NPH is rarely necessary for blood glucose control for GDM. When caring for an older adult, the nurse may see an increase in Option A. Nerve conduction Option B. Skin turgor Option C. Salt craving Option D. Urinary retention Right answer is Option D. Urinary retention Urinary retention can be caused by a weak bladder muscle, enlarged prostate, medications, nerve damage, or constipation. Treatments vary by cause, but can include medication, exercises, surgery, and catheterization. Rogam is most often used to treat underscore mothers that have a underscore infant. Option A. Rh positive, Rh negative. Option B. RH negative, RH positive. Option C. RH negative, RH negative. Option D. RH positive, RH positive. Right answer is. Option B. RH negative, RH positive. Rogam prevents the production of anti RH antibodies in the mother that has RH positive fetus. Subsequent pregnancies. Specifically, the baby's RBCs will not be seen as foreign by the mother's immune system. Following instruction about postmenopausal osteoporosis with a Caucasian 52 year old female, which statement indicates that the nurse should provide more education? Option A I am glad that I have a low risk of getting osteoporosis. Option B If I can't eat dairy products, I should take a calcium supplement. Option C. A cup of yogurt has the same amount of calcium as a glass of milk. Option D. I need to include exercise to slow the loss of bone. Right answer is. Option A. I am glad that I have a low risk of getting osteoporosis. Small boned, fair skinned females of Northern European heritage are at the greatest risk for developing osteoporosis. The other statements are true. Thanks for watching. If you like our video then do like, comment, share. Subscribe our channel for regular updates.